In the world of My Hero Academia, quirks are a common, everyday part of life. But not all quirks are made equal. Some are as inconsequential as extra bendy fingers, and others can be used to create massive explosions. If you're looking to be a hero, however, chances are you already have a pretty strong quirk. Some members of Class 1A have quirks that would work best in a supportive or rescue-oriented environment, while others give them sheer brute force. Today, the power of their quirk is what matters, and which one you would most want when going up against the supervillain. So sit back and enjoy while we rank Class 1A's quirks and determine which ones are weak tea and which ones are absolutely plus ultra! Oh, Mineta, how, oh, how did you even get into the Harvard of Hero Schools? And more importantly, why does your hero outfit look like you're wearing a diaper? So many questions. Mineta's quirk is Pop-Off, which gives him large orbs on top of his head which can stick to any surface except for himself. He primarily uses this to set traps and incapacitate his opponents. It's just… Uh, not great. Koda is the Dr. Doolittle of MHA's Class 1A. He has a quirk known as Anivoice, which allows him to talk to animals and give them commands. This does not include humans, of course, but it does include insects and other creepy crawlies. Koda's quirk is certainly useful, but it's limited by a myriad of factors. Now, if he was in the savanna with lions, elephants, and rhinoceroses, he'd be a very serious threat. Hagakure Toru, also known by her very original hero name, Invisible Girl, is just that, an invisible girl. This quirk seems more like a curse than anything else, as she is always invisible and cannot make herself visible. The only trace of her is the clothing she wears and any held objects. Toru did learn to refract light with her quirk, giving her a blinding effect, but otherwise, she's just the invisible girl. Jiro has one of the more odd quirks in My Hero Academia, as her earlobes have headphone jacks attached. These headphone jacks give her a very strong supportive ability, making her able to sense minute vibrations and sounds when plugged into a nearby surface. Her destructive capabilities leave a lot to be desired. Her support equipment allows her to amplify sounds and create sonic blasts, but that's about it. Mashirao Ojiro is pretty low on this list due to a generally lackluster quirk. It's a pretty straightforward mutation, being a strong prehensile tail. He's one of the more skilled combatants, and his tail certainly gives him extra flexibility in combat, but all in all, it's pretty bland. Outside of direct combat, the tail does offer him more mobility in terms of jumping and propelling himself. I'm sorry, does anybody else think that he looks like Luke Skywalker from Tatooine, or is it just me? Yuga Aoyama has another very strange and oddly specific quirk. He can fire lasers, but only out of his belly button. His naval laser has been shown to blast apart thick slabs of concrete as well as the robots in the UA entrance exam. It might have a lot of destructive capability, but it's still limited, mainly by the fact that he gets a tummy ache after using it too much. Uraraka has one of the most well-known quirks in the series, Zero Gravity. Ochako can manipulate the effect of gravity on anything she touches and can make whatever or whoever she touches completely weightless for as long as she can bear the strain. Her quirk does require a lot of clever tactics to have a great effect in combat, but we've seen her take her quirk much further than anyone would expect, like in her tournament fight against Bakugo. Sero is probably the closest thing My Hero Academia has to a Spider-Man character. Except instead of slinging webs from his forearm, he shoots tape from his elbows. Much like Spider-Man, he uses his tape primarily to swing around and ensnare his opponents. He's been shown to use the tape in a defensive manner as well, creating a sort of spider web of safety around an area he wishes to defend. Mezo Shoji has probably the grossest quirk in Class 1A, but it's actually proven to be really effective for both offense, defense, and support. His quirk Dupla Arms gives him an almost bat-like pair of wings with appendages that he can change at will. Shoji has four tentacles that he can form into ears, eyes, and mouths, which give him incredible sensory abilities. He's used his appendages to shield himself and others, grapple opponents, and even climb walls. There isn't too much to say about Sato's quirk, really. His quirk, Sugar Rush, is akin to the Hulk, except instead of getting strong from being angry, Sato downs a handful of sugar to get his power boost. After ingesting the sugar, however, Sato is prone to getting really drowsy. So it's best that he takes care of whatever obstacle is in his path quick, or he may just doze off without more. 
Mina Ashido, also known by her simple hero name Pinky, gives off pseudo-insect vibes with her appearance and has a fitting acid-based attack to boot. She can create acid walls, shoot acid bullets, and even cover herself in the slime to increase her defense. She can also use the slime to slide around quickly, Frozone style. Momo has one of the most versatile quirks not just in Class 1A, but all of the My Hero Academia universe. Yaoyorozu has access to the aptly named quirk Creation, which allows her to use her body's fat storage to create nearly any substance. The only things limiting her creativity is the size of the object and whether she knows how to make it, and the fact that she can't make anything organic. Kaminari is often used as a power character when he's on a team, and for good reason. He has the quirk Electrification, which makes him into a human electric eel, discharging huge amounts of electricity. Unfortunately, if he uses it too much, he effectively short circuits and is left mentally stunted for an hour. More recently, with the help of support equipment, he's been able to channel his electricity much more effectively. Tsuyu Asui is a human frog, plain and simple. Tsu is affected by a mutation quirk, which means that her whole body works in accordance with the quirk. Much like Spider-Man doing anything a spider can, Froppy can do anything a frog can. She has impressive swimming and jumping capabilities, can extend her tongue massive distances, climb on walls, and even camouflage herself. Unfortunately, she is essentially cold-blooded and doesn't handle cold weather too well. Ida is the go-to speedster of Class 1A. His quirk, Engine, grants him the ability to move around at incredible speeds. Engine is another weird biomechanical quirk, as Ida has literal exhaust pipes coming out of his calves. This gives him incredibly fast running speeds and augments his kicks to do severe damage to whatever he hits. In fact, he recently just upgraded his exhaust pipes so he can actually do a lot more. His super mover, Cipro Burst, gives him even greater speeds for a short period of time, but has a cooldown before he can use his quirk again. Kirishima has one of the most incredibly practical quirks when it comes to fighting villains, in offense and especially defense. His quirk, Hardening, makes his body more angular and sturdier. With this ability, he is able to take some unbelievably powerful blows from some of the heaviest hitters. His ultimate form, Red Riot Unbreakable, further increases his durability, even being able to take a barrage of blows from Kendo Rappa and dish out some damage himself. Tokoyami is the edgelord of the group. He's also got a stand straight from Jojo. His quirk, Dark Shadow, is a creature with its own sentience that Tokoyami uses to fight alongside him. Dark Shadow's strength and stability are determined by the amount of light around him. In brighter light, Dark Shadow is weak and nimbly controlled by Tokoyami. But when there is minimal or no light, Dark Shadow becomes an uncontrollable beast with incredible power. Todoroki's quirk is an interesting case, being the ubermensch child of the current number one hero Endeavor and a mother with ice abilities. He effectively has two different quirks. This power is immense. With his ice powers, he was able to create glaciers so large they nearly overtook an entire stadium. His heat power is also reminiscent of his father, creating blindingly hot fire at a moment's notice. Was there any question Bakugo would be this high up on the list? Of course he's one of the most powerful of Class 1A. Bakugo secretes a nitroglycerin-like substance from his hands and can ignite it at will, allowing him to blast explosions away from himself. He's also got more precise abilities, such as his AP shot, which pierces through solid objects with ease. Of course Midoriya and One for All would be at the top of this list. It's the undeniable most powerful quirk used by All Might and previous successors to fight some of the strongest enemies. One for All stockpiles massive amounts of power and increases the strength of its wielder. If you need an idea of just how strong it is, look no further than All Might's final blow against All for One. All Might punched so hard with his ultimate attack that it formed a massive tornado that leveled a good portion of a city. So yeah, easily the strongest quirk. There are some seriously strong contenders in this list, and even some of the weaker quirks of Class 1A are still really impressive when used in a clever manner. But One For All is simply unbeatable. It'll be exciting to see what Deku does when he's fully mastered it.